Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. If you are new, I want you to hit the subscribe button so a lot more people can see this video. Hit the like button also and leave a comment. Don't forget to share. I am your favorite high cheekbone sister, Zawadi M. On this channel, I talk business development in Africa, especially my beloved Liberia and travel. So last year, I focused on a specific topic regarding five businesses you can do in Liberia. I've seen a lot of emails, comments, calls regarding these ventures that people have started. Congratulations on your new business journey. I wish you well and I hope it all goes well because the list that I gave you guys last year included grocery store, rental spaces, of course, agriculture, um, packaging, water, salon etc however with after i did that video there still has been a trend across people going to africa more than ever before so with this increase there are new waves available for business ideas to flourish okay so looking at my research and also being on the ground twice this year i have seen vast improvement in africa as far as people going and uh, allowing the entrepreneur spirits to take over and or even those who are looking to tap into opportunities. So based on all of these factors, what are some additional business things that I observe or businesses that I observe that will do good now and even in the near future? There are five updated business ideas that I have again based on observation and what is happening on the continent of africa so let us start but don't forget hit that subscribe button the very very first one on this list is building construction materials as more people head to africa they, there will be an increase in construction so if you're looking to do construction look into selling cement even as wholesale you could even look into steel before cement was in high demand as far as building still is but when it comes to profit steel has more profit than even cement although cement is still very necessary to start your building and complete it but the glue however is steel so you do need that to sustain and so you can look into even wholesale steel amongst other building materials so the the point here is building materials is a business that you can look to do you can start small and then even make it bigger you start with one maybe cement supply or steel supply the roofing supply you know you get the point the next aspect they go hand in hand right construction you build you sell or you lease there has been an increase for the need of commercial and residential places as more people move towards africa there's the need for comfortability for convenience and that's when we have commercial real estate come in for businesses and residential homes where people are comfortable so if you're in the real estate space you can do short-term lease or even a long-term lease you can construct and sell so these are some of the things that you can do now that Airbnb is more prevalent across the continent and everywhere else you can build your properties and even put it on Airbnb one thing to note however is quality if you have a good quality your value speaks for itself but if you build a home that has very low quality then of course you will not get your return even though it's Airbnb everybody in life wants convenience comfort and quality therefore just keep that in mind as you are building your business home okay the next aspect is retail when people think retail they think clothes they only think shoes or um physical things as it relates to beauty 
when I think retail, I'm looking at supermarket. The supermarket, for example, ShopRite in Ghana, the estimated revenue was about 50 million plus across parts of the continent. So 50 million, 50 million plus in Ghana alone to other shop rights, you're looking at $550 million for, for my research. That's how much that retail supermarket made. Now, as people move into the continent, as we see an increase in population dynamic, you better believe people want to eat. Therefore, where do people shop the most? These supermarkets. So you wanted to consider that as well. Now take a look at Liberia. We have fewer supermarkets. So that means there is a reduction in competition. So if you're looking to build a supermarket, my proposal to you is for you to what? Mobilize a team. You guys come collectively and build a supermarket or supermarkets okay because it's better you go further with more people than for you to start and just go gradually and gradually and gradually a lot of foreigners in liberia are actually doing these things as a collective instead of going in there as an individual the next business idea on this list is financial services all of africa still 50% of Africa's population still utilize cash, okay? We are still a cash-based economy. So if you are looking at getting into the financial service sector, you wanna look into applications that will allow people to minimize the usage of cash. So you can look into that as well. Investors will be needed for this. You can even look at payment methods, okay? Um, in order to limit the transaction of too much cash. So people are really, really going into this sector. The last but not the least on this list, and my personal favorite, is still food and agriculture business. As we grow in population, the demand of food continue to increase. As we grow in population, in terms of people who are going to visit, increase in visitations on this continent, the need for food will increase. As it relates to Liberia, we need to increase food production. We are still importing most of our commodities into the country. For example, greens, poultry, milk, meat, etc. If we look into production, we are going to reduce this in essence, increasing our GDP. So for those who are into agriculture, why it is a very difficult sector at times due to not having the right equipment and or staff with the best modification and ways to flourish, this is a sector that will help increase our production and even our GDP subsequently leading to job creation. So, out of all these things that I've listed, do you still think you can look into them? Do you think these are even opportunities that you can look into? Or perhaps they don't even seek your interest? I would like to know in the comment below if any of these are even applicable to you. Thank you for tuning in. Um, as always, stay blessed. Uh, share positivity. Take care.